Now we turn to a homecoming of sorts, the annual Lauren Hill tip off tourney being played at Hill's home court of Mount St. Joseph for the first time. It had been played at Xavier University's Sintas Center. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us why this is such a special year for the tournament and how Lauren Hill's legacy inspires current players it's to never give up. It's been six and a half years since Lauren Hill passed away. The young woman inspired millions with her unrelenting spirit despite a terminal brain cancer diagnosis. It's been tough. I mean, you, you have that constant memory uh, that you fight every day. Um, the fact that she has given us something to push towards, I think that was a huge gift from her. You can't walk more than a few feet inside the gym at Mount St. Joe without seeing Hill and feeling her legacy. Now for the first time, the Lauren Hill tip-off tournament is being played on her home court. How much does it mean to you that, it, that it's kind of come home, if you will? Um, it's neat. It really is. Um, and this is something Lauren would have truly wanted. Um, despite the amazing game that they had at Xavier and all the people that were there, Lauren's goal was to make her first layup on this court. Hill's legacy is also oh, on display in the locker room. Sure. I mean, she would love what they do here I mean, with, you know, her memory and stuff. She would like that. Um, but her biggest thing would be the fact that the amount of research that we have funded for these kids, that just, I am sure that makes her smile every single day. <laughs> Women's head coach Dan Benjamin uses Lauren's story to inspire his current players. You wish you could bring her back. You know, when you lose somebody who makes an impact in your life like that, it's very difficult to kind of let things go. Remember her every day, always will. And obviously, we see the locker we got in here that'll stay there as long as I'm the head coach for her and honoring her. Teammates Madeline Haberthy and Haley Scott never played with Hill. But Scott was able to see Lauren score her first college layup at the Xavier Cintas Center. Honestly, just to be there and, like, witness that and feel, like, the crowd just backing her the whole time. Like, it was the craziest experience um, there wasn't a dry eye. Like, I know I was crying. Each time the team comes in here, the reminder of Lauren's never give up attitude, something that drives them to be better. Just her whole mentality of never giving up, it was really enlisted in our practice. And every day, Bear would tell us to never give up on ourselves, never give up on our teammates. And that's just the way we played. Brent says he's thankful to see his daughter's legacy impact so many people and he's so appreciative of everyone in the tri-state and beyond who have supported their family from the initial diagnosis to now. All the love and support for her and our family through these years, um, that's what's gotten us through um, and that's what keeps us driving. And um, just love them all for all the support. It's been absolutely amazing. 22, one, three, one, two, three, 22. At Mount St. Joe University, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. So far, more than $1.6 million has been raised in Lauren's name for cancer research to find a cure for DIPG. If you'd like to help donate, head to our website, local12.com, and click on the Lauren Hill Legacy Story.